For my fire hydrants, we're gonna start down on all fours, hand shoulder width apart, knees shoulder width apart. Start, knees placed together. The reason why I like to place the knees together is because you'll have that knee that's staying on the ground and a nice center of balance versus being, if I'm shoulder width apart, I'll be too arched to one side and rotating through my back. When you perform your fire hydrants from the knees together, we have three movements. We have flexion of the hip, abduction, and then we try and extend back. And I'm gonna rock it in so it's a nice strong circle. I'm trying to think that I have a glass of water on my back or trying to envision a glass of water on my back and you can't let it spill any water. So we don't wanna perform our fire hydrants up like this with that glass of water, nice and tight and straight. As we move the hip up and around, you should feel some good engagement through your glute med, glute min, and also too with that extension at the end, just trying to engage that glute max. So you're getting a good, solid, full rotation at the hip.